Gentlemen from California seek recognition. I ask unanimous consent to address the House one minute and revise and extend remarks, Madam Speaker. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you. The top priority bill the House represented this year for the Democrats seems to be HR1, known as the For the People Act. What people is this going to benefit? For the Politicians Act, you might call it, it helps politicians and so hacks like the, the Lincoln Project, not the people. For example, if this bill passes, a political candidate raising approximately $800,000 in their campaign under certain guidelines could have the federal government match funds up to $6 million that could be used for anything put into campaign. $6 million of your federal dollars going into a single congressional race under the right conditions. These formulas are geared to ratchet up from the previous election cycle as we know campaigns get more expensive each time. So does the match. Also under this bill, the federal government would hand out $25 vouchers to every voter in three chosen states to donate to candidates. How much will that cost just to administer a program like that? We know the federal government doesn't do that cheaply. Maybe $25 per check to give each $25 contribution. If you hand a bureaucrat a hammer, they'll see everything as a nail. The new system finds more people in order to raise funds for this campaign giveaway. The fines will go up, businesses will be hurt, all in order to drive something not for the people. I yield back.